I was hoping to get a kiss from my beautiful wife first. Mm. Apple pie? For the apple of my eye. Holy Jessica! Holy Jessica! It's all right, honey. Hold on tight. Are you all right, my dear? Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Bad dreams? Well, where are you going, my dear? I'm going to go visit my brother and his children for Christmas. Oh, that sounds lovely. I find there's nothing better than spending Christmas around children. Do you have any? Fine morning it is. down off them horses. Well, we didn't do nothing wrong, sir. I said step down. Huh. We didn't mean no harm, sir. I'm sure you didn't. You're just two young fools. <laughs> Having a little fun. Each of you take off one boot. <laughs> boot? <laughs> boot. <laughs> you finish your business, you retrieve your boot in my office. The way I know, there won't be no more fancy riding between now and then. But I mean, I could just tell you I will. I said now.
and which we never rode into this town. <laughs> So we know the railroad goes to here. At this point, it either runs up to Evansville or straight across to Haddington. So you think it will come here to Haddington? Uh-huh. That's why I need to control all the land along this current route as well as the route to Haddington. I hold the notes on a lot of these properties here. I need to get those properties back. It's a big gamble. Hmm. That's why you're going to find out exactly when this railroad man is expected to be here. I am? Mm-hmm. You'll have the actual plans, the map to the final route. I need to see them. Well, don't just stand here, Burson. Go see what you can find out. Yes, sir. Annabelle, she was real slow. Was not. No. I was in the house waiting on you and Aaron. What? Let's not argue. You need to go meet your Aunt Ellie. Grace is in stage depot. I didn't say go. You cheated. <laughs> Grace Fair, you watch over your sister. Annabelle, I never said go. Bet you're glad your sister's coming. I am. How's she holding up? I'm not sure. rest of your trip. Oh, thank you, my dear. And remember what we talked about. I will. Elle? Good to see you. Good to see you too, Aaron. Well, look at the two of you. Hi, Aunt Ellie. Christopher Davis. You are going to be quite a handsome young man. Annabelle. It's practically a woman. Come on, Elle. There'll be plenty of time to catch up on the ride home. Well, don't just stand there, Christopher. Grab one of Aunt Ellie's bags. Let's go. Annabelle, you know the way. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> now, you know you don't have to do that. I didn't invite you here just to have you cook. No, it's nice to cook for a family again. You'll be meeting Eric Johnson in a minute. He's bringing the children in. Eric Johnson? His pa left him in town a few years ago. Wasn't a good man. Eric needed a roof over his head, so I took him in. He's got a place out in the barn. Well, that was very nice of you. He helps me watch over the place, take care of the children. Mom and pa would be very proud of you, Aaron. <laughs> We're all washed up. Eric made me wash my hands twice. Because they were all dirty. We're not. We're two. <laughs> Hello, ma'am. You must be Mrs. King. Yes, I am. And you must be Eric Johnson. Aaron, he's told me all about you. It's a pleasure to meet you. Likewise. All right, children, your Aunt Ellie's doing the cooking. We're setting the table. You stopped right. I know. You used to write once a month. Guess I didn't have anything else to say. You know, when I lost Susan, your letters were one of the things that helped get me through. 
You kept reminding me that I still had family that cared. And shortly after the funeral, Ma and Pa came to visit. It's the first time Ma and I really talked about her first husband, our namesake. She kept telling me that she was scared. I recognized some of those things in me. She told me the same thing. <laughs> Gotcha. All right, now let's get ready for bed. Annabelle can go to bed. I don't have to yet. Little man? Yes, Pa. Would you like it if I read you a bedtime story? Oh, please. Mama always read to us. Papa almost never does. <laughs> <laughs> Though Scrooge press it down with all his force. He could not hide the light, which streamed from under it, in an unbroken flood upon the ground. And that's the end of the chapter. So that will be all for tonight. You really like Christmas. In town, they're having a Christmas pageant, and they're putting up a big Christmas tree, so big that you can see it from miles away. All us men are going into the woods to find a giant tree, and we're gonna chop it down. And we're gonna put it up in the middle of town. That sounds like a lot of fun. I wasn't just talking to Jessica. Well, I was hoping to get a kiss from my beautiful wife first. Apple pie? For the apple of my eye. It's mighty windy, ain't it, Pa? Isn't it? And yes, it is. What's that sound, Pa? Get in here. Uh, yes, Mr. Weaver? Where is that list of delinquent notes you drew up? Oh, it's uh, still on my desk in the office, sir. Well, don't just stand here. Go get it. Yes, sir. This is going to be the best Christmas ever. Oh, I bet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Good morning. Sunshine. Morning, Papa. Morning, son. Morning, Steve. Pa, can we go do the Christmas trees now? All right. Me and Christopher, go ahead. We'll be there in a moment. No, Pa, I want to stay with you. Son, I need you to look after your sister. Yes, Pa. Okay. 
I'm gonna run to the general store and get that small keg of nails. These certainly are darling children. Well, you must be Aaron's sister. Yes, I am. Ellie, this is Mayor William Wayne and his wife, Adrian, and their daughter, Susanna. Pleasure to meet you all. Well, I wanted to introduce myself. Besides being the mayor of this town, I like to think of myself as the welcome wagon around here. Well, that's very kind of you. How are you finding things here? Well, I must say, I think it's wonderful how the entire town is choosing to celebrate Christmas. Well, we're a town that believes in community. That and the railroad. Hmm. I don't understand. Well, the railroad may be passing through town. It's the mayor's idea. Well, I won't deny that all the Christmas endeavors we've been planning will paint the town in a good light. Anything that'll help build a, a sense of community is gonna help the town grow. Besides, the children love it. And I do, too. How can we help you, Mr. Johnson? Oh, I'm sorry to uh, interrupt. I picked up your nails, Mr. Davis. Uh, perfect. Put it in the wagon. Of course. Well, if you don't mind excusing us, I'm gonna take Miss Ellie over to the general store. Introduce her, Miss Thompson. There's a splendid idea. It's lovely to meet you, Ellie. Pleasure to meet you, too. Ma'am. I think you're gonna enjoy Mrs. Thompson. She kinda reminds me of Mama. Oh, oh, oh my. Are you all right? Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you. I'm, I'm fine. What, do you find this humorous? <laughs> no, that all kind of saved me an introduction. Excuse me? Uh, Ellie, this would be my good friend and deputy, Michael Strode. Michael, this would be my sister, Ellie King. Heard a lot about you. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too. And it's nice that you happened to walk by. You're here for a few weeks, right? Well, at least till Christmas. Well, I, for one, hope you stay longer. Your brother was excited about you coming to visit, so I know he's happy to have you here. Well, that was very nice of you. And, and for my part, I always found members of the Davis family to be of the best sort. <clears throat> Don't you have some deputy business to be doing? Nice to meet you, Ellie. Well, he seems like a nice enough fella. Mm-hmm. Solid as rock. Man in character. <clears throat> I'm not gonna ask you again. Please, Mr. Weaver. I just don't have the money right now. You are behind on your payments, Mr. Perry. Now, it's in your best interest to vacate my property on your own accord. But what about my wife? Little boy, this is our home. Your family is not my problem. Please. Either pay up or pack up and get out. Or else I'll have to put you out. Good day, Mr. Perry. Aaron, where are the little ones? Ah, uh, they're at Cunningham's painting Christmas ones. I'm helping with the Christmas play myself. It's for the Browns' little girl. She's going to be an angel. Well, that'll be some. I gave your order to that Johnson boy. Hmm, thank you. You make sure you double check it. You never know with that boy. Uh, Miss Thompson, I'd like to introduce my sister, Miss Ellie King. Oh, Aaron has been talking about your visit for days. I'm Beatrice Thompson. Welcome to my store. Oh, you have a wonderful store. It belonged to my late husband, Edgar. When he passed on, I took it over. And you, Ellie King, are married. I, I was. Well, I, I lost my husband. I'm truly sorry. We better go check on the children. 
Well, since you're going that way anyway, would you mind taking this paint to Mr. Cunningham? I believe they were running low. Of course. It was a pleasure to meet you. You too. Sneak away from Daddy. I can't stay but a moment. I'm just glad you came at all. He wouldn't like us visiting like this. I don't know. He, he decided a long time ago he didn't like me. If your dad knew that I was courting his daughter, he'd have me run out of town. <laughs> don't be silly. I should go. When can I see you again? I don't know. Soon? Find a way. You see, when the wood grows, it grows in layers, and that's called the grain. And you always Mr. want to Cunningham. Stand. Sure. Compliments, Miss Thompson. Oh, thank you. That's perfect timing. We're just out of grain. Well, I'd like to introduce my sis, Miss Ella King. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Cunningham. It is wonderful what you've done with the town here. Well, we're just trying to put a little twinkle in Haddington. Look, Pa. See how smooth it is? Yeah, you be careful now. You don't want to get yourself a splinter. Mr. Cunningham showed us how to sand it. Soon enough, you're going to be helping your pa build things. Aunt Ellie, come see. Beautiful, Annabelle. I got some sheriffing to do. Got rounds to make. Well? Stay with me, Aunt Ellie. Please? Looks like I'm staying. Well, y'all have fun. Mr. Cunningham? Sure. Where you walking, boy? It was an accident. I apologize. No kidding. You're that Johnson boy, aren't you? Aren't you? Aren't you? There you are. That was a bit clumsy of me, wasn't it? Son, are you hurt? I'm not hurt. Because. Maybe this one will. <laughs> Why are you doing this? Why? That was your pull. Stole all my savings out of this bank a few years ago, and I lost everything. I had nothing to do with that. Please. No, mister, please me. Cause me and a lot of folks around here are tired of living in this town with you. Charlie? Release the hammer and hand over that pistol. You gonna shoot me over this boy? Not to my liking, but I surely will do so. All right. I'll do that. You seem to have a snoop full of liquor, Charlie. Yeah. 
I had a few in that saloon. What about it? You'll find it nice and comfortable in lockup until you're sober. Enjoying you reading their stories at night. I just passed by and say goodnight, but all they seemed to care about was your story. <laughs> you know, you should read to them more often. Ma would not be happy if she knew you weren't. Well, that's for sure. <sighs> Hell, something's come up and. I need to leave town for a few days, go down to the county land office in Evansville. Why? Well, I've been thinking about buying a parcel of land just south of the property. An old stream good for fishing, do some more farming, allow me to spend more time with Christopher and Annabelle. That would be nice. What about being a sheriff, though? I want to be around to see my children grow. I took the liberty to send a telegram over to the county land office. Found out there was another party interested. What is it that you're asking? I know this isn't the best time for you, but I'd like you to stay with Annabelle and Christopher for a few days. Mind doing me a favor? Anything. You know that. I'm going over to Evansville for a few days. Buy that land? Would you mind looking in on Ellie and the children while I'm away? Consider it done. I got the old ones down. Uh, I need the new ones. Doing a fine job, son. Hammer and nails? On the desk. Tin cup next to the hammer. You'll find tax in there. Just mind that thumb when you're hammering. Oh, Pa. I know that. He's growing up. Yes, he is. I enjoyed our conversation, Annabelle. Papa says I asked too many questions. You can never ask too many questions. That's how you learn. Annabelle Davis. Annabelle Davis, hold up. Annabelle. Oh, Annabelle Davis. Oh, you are perfect. Absolutely perfect. Well, good morning to you too, Mrs. Wayne. Oh, I'm sorry. You have to excuse me. We're just, we're short one child for the Christmas pageant. The Geller boy is sick, and we can't have just two wise men, so. Would Annabelle like to be in the Christmas pageant? Well, Annabelle, would you like to be a wise man? But I'm a girl. Oh, no, no, that's fine. I'm, I'm sure his costume will fit you, and I'm sure the Lord will be fine with a wise woman. What do you think, Annabelle? Oh, can I? Oh, of course. Now, you go on with Mrs. Wayne, and I, I will catch up to Great. you. Great. Wonderful. We'll be in the old meeting hall. Good. <laughs> well, I guess she found a replacement for the pageant. Yes, I have. <laughs> It's really wonderful. This town is just so full of Christmas spirit. It's quite nice. Oh, I always wanted the town to celebrate Christmas like this. I mean, there's some good people here, but it really took the possibility of the railroad to get them inspired. Really? Yeah. Oh, don't get me wrong. We would have had a little celebration, but it wouldn't have been anything like this. Oh, speak of the railroad. If you'll excuse me, I have someone to greet. Mr. Hill. Looks like the man we've been expecting is here. Welcome. 
It's a map case he's carrying. Map for the railroad route. Mayor says our town is on that map. We're going to be a boom town. Let's go spread the word. Yes, indeed. Who's that Mayor Wayne's talking to? I think it's someone from the railroad. The railroad? They hear? Well, I'm not really sure, but I think so. Is he going to be laying out the plans for the town? Oh, Alex Weaver, introduce yourself before you start interrogating the girl. I apologize for him. <laughs> like a lot of people in this town, he's obsessed about the railroad. He owns a lot of land, always wants to make more money. some time with my father so he can get to know you better. I'm trying. He just cares nothing for me. Please, you can't say anything to my pa. He doesn't know. You're not going to say anything, are you? No. But perhaps, Eric, you and I, we need to have a talk. Sure. Come on. isn't due yet. But you did read the contract you signed, Mr. Kelly. Oh, I did, in fact, read the entire contract, Mr. Weaver. I have 90 days from the time you called it in to pay it off. Hmm. Well, that's right. As of today, you have 89 days. But you still won't have the money. You don't know that. Mr. Kelly, why not make this whole thing easier on all of us and just sign the land back over to me right now? I will not abandon my dream. Good day, gentlemen. What if he gets the money and pays off the note? Or decides to sell to the railroad? That, Mr. Burson, is not a chance I'm prepared to take. Yes, sir. Well, finish that short. I sure wouldn't want to be locked up in a cell. And I sure wouldn't want you to be. Where are you going? Walking around town. That's what sheriffs do. I'm going. I was thinking about stopping by after the night deputy released me. Really? Why? Just to see you and the children. Is that it? I mean, we do spend all day together. Well, maybe say hello to Annabelle and your sister. Oh, yes, my sister. Sure, come on by. All right, children, I want everybody on the stage. Let's do this from the beginning. Mary, you're here, you know? So you haven't spoken to your parents about how you feel? Not her mom. She's OK. I wouldn't mind telling her. It's your father. He wouldn't like it. Why do you think he wouldn't approve? Because of my pa. Aaron uh, <clears throat> told me your pa had to leave you here years ago. He didn't have to leave me. He, he abandoned me. He said I was a burden to him. I'm sorry. Don't be. Your brother has been more of a father to me than my real one ever was. <sighs> has there been any word about your father? About a year ago. 
he and a few others uh, decided to rob a bank outside of El Paso. He was killed. I'm sorry again. Oh. I made my peace with it. Who knew it would be this hard? <sighs> yes, um, children in, in large groups can be very, very difficult. You know, you should think about helping with the Christmas Eve celebration. You mean the pageant? Oh, no, no, this is just a small part of it. There'll be music and all sorts of fun. Well, that sounds wonderful. Thank you, I, I will think about it. Good. And you know what? You should come for dinner tomorrow night. Give us a chance to get to know you better. That sounds lovely. Good. You bring the entire household. I will. I look forward to it. Eric, what brings you here? I'm, I'm just... talking with Ellie. Okay. Oh, no, no, no! Peter Martin! What did I say? No eating straw in the manger. Exactly. What is wrong with you? Put it down. My God, we're gonna run. You should come too. To dinner? Well, give you a chance to get to know the father. Give him a chance to get to know you. <sighs> she didn't invite me. Well, she said the whole household. <laughs> what are you doing? Afternoon, Mr. Weaver. Likewise. Mr. Weaver didn't decorate for Christmas. Yeah, well, you know that story your Aunt Ellie's reading? Christmas Carol. Yeah, well, Mr. Weaver's more like our town Scrooge. Are you fun of me? Maybe just a little. I have those papers to look over, Mr. Weaver. Uh, not now. Later. I've been in there a very long time. Who's been where, sir? Those two. The man from the railroad and... Mayor Wayne. Thank you so much. Do you think they finalized running the railroad through here? Well, earlier, the man from the railroad was carrying what our good mayor is carrying right now. I'll bet those are the plans. You think the mayor knows the route of the tracks? It'll be in the plans, all right. I don't suppose our good mayor will tell us that he absolutely has to. Safe travels, Mr. Hill. We'll see you soon. Why don't you just ask the mayor tomorrow? See what he thinks. Yeah, I'll ask him, all right. How are you such a phenomenal cook? And your brother is the worst. And don't say because men can't do it, men can be just as good as women. I thought you said you were terrible. What's your excuse? I have three sisters. I never had to learn. Or you didn't want to learn. <laughs> that too. I'm trying to learn. Yeah, if it weren't for the cafe in town, this man would starve to death. Well, maybe you need to find yourself a different teacher. You think? Next time you uh, come over for dinner, come by a few hours early, and I'll show you a few things. I'd like that. Or so would we, because he can't cook. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like everyone's a critic. <laughs> OK, Eric, perhaps we should change the subject and ask when you're going to finally ask out Susanna. Or rather, when you're going to ask her father. How did you know? Did you tell? No, 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 I, I, I didn't say anything. Oh, that. come on. Everybody knows. Does the mayor know? OK, well, not everybody, but pretty close to it. Don't worry. I'm sure he won't be asking us to arrest you. Uh, arrest me? Yeah. According to his daughter, without his permission, I mean, we could have you locked up. They can? Yep. No, no, that's not true. It's not, <laughs> it's not true. You two are the worst. Don't listen to them. You can't be arrested. Now, come on, I gotta go fetch some water. Which one of you strong men would like to help me? I'll help you. All right.
All right, well, sit down. Let's finish up the game. I think you should arrest him. I appreciate your help. Uh, not a problem. Always enjoy the company of a lady. Are you flirting with me, Mr. Michael? Uh, no, ma'am. Just stating a fact. So, do you stay in touch with your family? Uh, they live in Kansas. It's been a few years since I've seen them, but we ride every once in a while. Good. Three sisters, you said, right? Yeah. Always wanted a brother. Aaron seems to fit that bill. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's a... He's a good man. He is that. So do your sisters, do they have any family? All three. Married with children. Oh, so <laughs> you're the you're the footloose and the fancy free one, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, my mother keeps writing me and asking me when I'm gonna give her grandchildren. Mothers. Think about those things. I know you've had a tough time, and you need to find your own way. But you got people here who care about you. I'm gonna get this water back in the house. Ready, Pa. Yes, sir. You promise to take care of the ladies of the house, right? Yes, sir. Which way to Evansville? Just over a day's ride in that direction. I'll be back before you know it. All right, Pa. Well, you think I forgot about my most favorite girl in the world? Whoa. Now, you be a good girl and you listen to your Aunt Ellie, okay? I love you, Papa. And I love you too, Angel. Thank you for doing this. Remember, you owe me. So, have you two decided what you want to get your pa for Christmas? I know what I want to give up. It's just that. What? Could you help me with something? Of course. I want to make pa a handkerchief. Well, that's very nice of you. Papa had one Mama made. He lost it. It made him sad. It had his letter on it. Letter A. I will help you. But you have to promise me that you'll be careful sewing. All right. Let's go on inside and, and get ready for the town.
you out of here. Get off Mr. Weaver's property. Weaver can't do this. We shoot trespassers. Given in and let them have some of the candy canes. Now look at them. Sugar and children is rarely a good mix. <laughs> It'll take forever to get the little angels to calm down. Little angels? You go behind there! I can't call little devils so close to Christmas, now can I? <laughs> All right, I am going to go. Tame the wild beasts. Get it out of your mouth now! <laughs> children! Stop, I need your attention right now. Ethan, put the baby Jesus back in the cradle. There you go. What are you two doing here? I want to see Annabelle as a wise man. Call me crazy, but I don't think this is how things were at the birth of our Lord. No, you might be right about that. Well, hello, good people. Hello. Ellie, I understand you're going to join us at the house for dinner. I guess we are. Wonderful. Michael, why don't you come as well? The more the merrier. Perfect. Now, I understand that you are quite the rising star, young lady. I really like it. <laughs> I bet you do. Now, if you're interested, we'd love to have you come help decorate the house. Well, we would love to. Right, you two? Yes. I love decorating. Well, we should decorate your house. Surprise your father when he gets home. Hmm? Hey, Mayor! I want to talk with you. Mercy. Can we go to the sheriff's office so I can work on my present for Paul? I want to play outlaw. He locked in the cell. <laughs> All right, let's go, you two outlaws. <laughs> See you tonight? See you tonight. Well, Mr. Weaver, how can I help you today, sir? Ah, uh, save your pleasantries. You know what I want. Oh, now it's Christmas. Surely we could be a bit more civil than that. Well, I stop by being civil enough to share with me what that railroad man gave you. Now, I know he left some plans or layouts, some maps or something. I saw you with him yesterday. No decision has been made. I'm talking about the plans, what's on them. He'll be back on the 23rd. We'll have a decision then. If you can't accept that, I'm sorry. There's not much more I can do for you. Uh, you could allow me to take a look at the plans. Good day, Mr. Weaver. Welcome, everyone. There. Thanks again for inviting everyone. That one more than I thought. Oh, I didn't know the Johnson boy was coming. Your wife uh, said to invite the entire household, and Eric, he's a part of that. All right, then. If you'd like to help with the pine garland in the barn, we're going to decorate the house. I want to help decorate. Me too. You do? Well, let's go then. <laughs> what you wanted to know. So, did you get it? No, sir. I'm a law clerk, not a thief. Yes. All right, children, the decorations are over there. See what you can find. What you got there, Mr. Mayor? 
Oh, uh, I should have put these up. They're the railroad plans for our area. Nobody's supposed to see them until there's a final decision been made. Not even a peek? Not even for a lawman. Have you given any thought to helping with the Christmas celebration? Yes, I, I think I would like to help. But perhaps the children should write letters to St. Nicholas. Letters? <laughs> yes. They could write letters and tell him what they want for Christmas. <laughs> I love it. William, have you seen Susanna? Uh, no, I'll go have a look. Boy, you sure have a lot of decorations. We've been collecting for a long time. Can you tell? I'm so glad you could come with the others. What do you two think you're doing? Daddy! Mr. Wayne, we, we were just... Yeah, I know what you're doing. On my land without my permission. Eric didn't mean any disrespect. My daughter is not some strumpet you can have your way with. No, I, I didn't think that, sir. I... I love her. I think sneaking around is the way to behave when you're in love? I'm so disappointed in you. Get in the house. But, Daddy... Get in the house! I'm really sorry, sir. I don't want to see you around my daughter again. Sir, I just... Get off my land. Sir, I just... Now! Go back in and finish with the decorations. Mm. 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 Mighty good cook, Mrs. Jones. Thank you. Much obliged for your hospitality. And most folk take one look at me and run scared. Well, I'll admit, when you first rode up, I was a tad bit menaced. But you being unarmed and all put me at ease. Yeah. Well, I gotta be going. Well, you're welcome to share a fire for the night. Good luck getting to California and finding that dream. It's mighty cold out. You're welcome here. Now I gotta get. I understand. You never told us your line of work. I rob. People like you. Taking that money pouch you both were bragging about. I am not a patient man. Give it to him. And get up, both of you. Thank you so much, Kim. Um, the children, they had a, a very fine time decorating. Yes, and I always appreciate a meal, especially one made by such a great cook. Oh, thank you. I apologize if the mood wasn't the epitome of holiday cheer. 
No need to apologize, dear. The mood wasn't your fault. May I be excused? Please. Yes. <laughs> well, that was the least pleasant meal I can remember. <laughs> <laughs> your senses and you heard my father. He can't stop us if we want to be together. You love me, right? I do. Then come away with me. I can't. If you really love me, you'd come with me. Don't talk like that. You gotta have faith. Now have faith in him and in us. Get back inside. I guess it was a mistake to invite him. He's a very nice young man, Mr. Mayor. I'm gonna go outside, walk off some of this food in my belly. Hey there! You! Stop! What is it? Fire! We need to get the horses out of the barn! Susanna, come quick! Children, you stay in the house. Mother, what are we gonna do? Let's go get the extra buckets from the workshop. Come on, come on, come on. Susanna, bring the extra buckets. Hurry! Yes, Mama. The railroad plans are gone. Mr. Mayor, we got a fire to put out. Come on! Him. Michael, you're acting Sheriff Arden's away. Rest who? Who do you think? The Johnson boy. All right, we all know he's upset, but why would he set fire to your barn? To get back at me? No, he wants nothing to do with your railroad plans. Besides, we saw him leave before the dark. He was here. Tonight. When? When I went outside just after dinner, he was waiting in the bar and he wanted to talk to me. He asked me to run away with him. Susanna. But I told him I couldn't. I went back inside, he seemed real upset. When was this? Just a couple of minutes before the fire. Go get the children, put them in bed. We need to find Eric. Thank you, Deputy. He's not back there where he sleeps. How about the house? No, I, I looked. Ellie, you know I have to find him. It's the only suspect there is. Give me your word, you will listen to him and you won't have your mind made up already. I want you to understand that personally I like Eric. But if Aaron taught me anything about being a lawman, we are not the judge or jury. 
Where do you think that he went? I just hope he didn't leave town. If you start running, it's hard to stop. But if he sticks close to home, maybe we'll see him, talk him into doing what's right. It's never too late to make amends. Good night. Excuse me. Can I help you? I'd like to buy some land. Well, you've come to the right place. Now, why don't you come on over to the map? Point a parcel you want. back after the first time you left? I did. I wanted to see Susanna. It didn't go well. She, she left me in the barn. And then what happened? I was feeling real bad, so I went to Oak Hollow. I fell asleep under a tree and stayed there all night. So you didn't set fire to the mayor's barn? Fire? No, why would I do that? Well, the mayor, he said he saw you running away from the barn when it was burning. No, he's wrong. There was no fire when I left. We're gonna have to go see Michael. I didn't do anything. You believe me, don't L you? Lord help me. Yes, I believe you. Eric, I said that I believe you. least look into some other possibility. If I had another possibility or a reason to believe it was someone else, I'd gladly explore it. The moment I don't. I know Eric didn't do it. I'm sorry, Ellie. Is Eric all right? He'll be fine. He just has to stay here for a little while. Is it because he set fire to the mayor's barn? Why'd he do that? Well, I don't think he did. Seems dumb. Yes, it does. Come on. Shall we go write letters to St. Nicholas? Well, what are we waiting for? <laughs> Come on, young man, let's go. A doll with long hair like Mama's, so I can brush it.
Hello, Mr. Michael. Just in time. Putting up Christmas decorations. Aunt Ellie made gingerbread men cookies. Annabelle, Christopher, go on inside. Pull that trunk into the living room. Isn't it a little bit too early for supper? I wanted to come see you. Well, I meant I wanted to come see how you're getting on, since Eric's not here to help out. Well, I know he didn't set fire to that barn. I'm still looking at other possibilities. Ellie, I didn't come here as a deputy checking on you. I came here as your friend. Are we putting up decorations or not? Join us? My pleasure. looking after the little ones these last couple of days. I know it's a big change compared to just staying at your place alone. It is. I have to admit, it was a bit overwhelming. I'm really happy that I came here. I'm glad. Pa's keys sound like sleigh bells. Uh, yes, it, it does. Just try not to lose them. Those are Aaron's spare set of skeleton keys. Skeleton keys? They unlock every business in town, in case Pa needs to open a door when it's locked. Oh, that's very interesting, but perhaps you should put them back to where you found them. I know you got a bill holder tucked in that belt. Pull it out. Easy. Throw it back here. I don't even think about pulling that hammer back. You're a lawman. Now hold out that pistol and dangle it on a finger. And if I don't? I can take you in breathing or hanging over a saddle.
I ain't gonna get hung for killing a lawman. Yes, sir, not before last, to be exact. Well, if memory serves, we were working here late. How late? Is there a reason for these questions? How late? Oh, well after dark. Mr. Burson, do you recall? Yes, sir, Mr. Weaver. Well after dark. How well after dark? Until almost midnight. Yes, sir, we really burned that midnight oil. Sorry to have bothered you. Try to understand. I left when Susanna told me to go. I didn't start a fire or take some map or something. Yes, I was mad, and yes, my feelings were hurt. Of that, I'm guilty. But nothing else. Fortunately, the mayor said he saw you running away from the barn. He didn't see me run. And nobody wants to figure out what happened. You know, I believe you. Day. Mm. Where are the children? They're at the jail, visiting Eric. Oh. Well, children usually have a good sense of a person. That's a credit to his character. Your opinion has changed of him since we first met. You're the, you're the sheriff's sister. Yes, I am. I heard he just went to the county land office. Yes, he did. He was supposed to be home last night. We're all a little worried. In Evansville, right? Yes. Is that land office open through the holidays? Well, I have no idea. Why, are you looking to buy more land? That's well, not your business. Did you? Here goes one rude, unhappy man. Well, I stop by being civil enough to share with me what that railroad man gave you. Now, I know he left some plans or layouts or maps or something. I saw you with them yesterday. And no decision has been made. I'm talking about the plans, what's on them. Hard to believe the good Lord loves a person like that. Is he married? Oh, goodness, no. He lives alone in a small apartment. Here in town? Attached to his law office. Should we have some tea? The very lamp lighter who ran on before, dotting the dusky street with specks of light, and who was dressed to spend the evening somewhere, laughed out loudly as the spirit passed. 
Well, I think that will be all for tonight. I don't want to go to sleep. Shh, Christopher. You said Paul would be home by now. He's never late. I know. But there's probably a very good reason why he's not. We should go look for him. Nobody is going anywhere. Good night. Mr. Weaver. He's the only person who's shown interest in the map. So you think that Weaver set the fire to cover up the theft, and the maps are in his office? Shouldn't you talk to the deputy about this? Michael spoke to Weaver. He has a witness to where he was that night. He's a law clerk. <sighs> who would say anything that Weaver told him to? You don't mind watching the children until I get back? My dear, I am glued here until I see the outcome of this adventure. This is better than a dime novel. <sighs> Ellie, you be careful. Bounty hunter, you're worth $300, alive or dead. I didn't grow old by making mistakes. Buster, whoa! No, Buster. This wasn't such a good idea.
I'm sorry. The office is closed. 